So, in the beginning of the film, we see a thief going inside a building with a rope. This building is of jewelers where the world's most expensive crown has been made. Dybalik, that thief, had to steal that crown. He looks inside the building through the window. There was only one security guard there. Everyone else was wasting time, and so his work was easy. As soon as he enters the building, he first kills the security guard. Without wasting time, Dybalik opens the door of the safe. As soon as the door opens, the security alarm goes off. This alerts the rest of the guards. They quickly go to the safe and try to open the safe's door and check inside. But the safe's door is not opening because Dybalik has sealed it from the inside. They decide to use a bomb to break through the door. And until they succeed in opening the safe, Dybalik had already done his work. He had already flown on his paraglider and escaped from here. He lands his paraglider on a car in a little while. The car was being driven by his partner, Ava. And they both escape from here with that precious crown. The scene cuts, and the next day we see that the jeweler whose crown was stolen by Dybalik had a launch party for his jewelry, where five supermodels wear their company's most expensive jewelry and perform a dance. This jewelry was so beautiful that everyone was eager to buy it. In this party, the security was also kept very tight because Dybalik had already stolen a precious crown. They were afraid that something like this would happen here too. As soon as these supermodels finish their dance performance, the night suddenly passes here. As soon as the lights go out, due to security issues, a police officer takes all these supermodels to a safe room. As soon as they enter this room, the security guard closes the room's shutter. And we are shown that this was not a room in reality, but it was a container that picked up these models and took them from here. And the officer who did this job was not a police officer. It was Dybalik who had put a police officer's mask on his face. And once again, he succeeded in stealing a lot of jewelry. After this, we see that Dybalik takes off the jewelry he wore from all the girls and leaves them on the deserted road. After which, these girls, these models, go to a hotel. As soon as they go there, one of them calls an officer named Jinku. She reports to him that his work has been done according to the plan. That is, there is a great twist in the story, that whatever work has been done, the police had made this plan to catch Dybalik. All these girls were actually agents, and the jewelry that was given to Dybalik so easily, there was a tracker on that jewelry. And now using the same tracker, Jinku, that is, the police officer, who has been after Dybalik for many years, he very easily wants to find out about Dybalik's hideout and catch him. Unknowingly, Dybalik reaches a hill from all these plans. On pressing a button, that hill opens like a door, in which he and Eva take their truck and go. As soon as they come in, they take out their stolen goods and start celebrating their victory. With the jewelry they had at that time, these people could live their future lives very comfortably. That's why Eva tells Dybalik, why don't we take a long break now? But Dybalik refuses to do it, and Eva starts discussing her next plan of theft. On the other hand, we see that the police had also reached the secret hideout of Dybalik while tracking the GPS. But here, seeing the hill, these people get very confused. Jinku, that is, the police officer, now decides to blow this hill with a bomb. And as soon as these people blast here, they see a tunnel inside, on the other side of which was Dybalik. Dybalik and Ava had also seen the police coming in through the CCTV camera. That's why they leave all their stolen goods here and start trying to get out of the secret passage. And when the police reach here, they don't find them both here. But Jinku had seen the secret passage here, from which Ava and Dybalik came out. He also follows them from the same path and even sees them. Before the police reached them, these people were running fast. But then Ava's foot gets stuck in a cliff. Dybalik tries to get her foot out, but the police were getting closer to them. And then Dybalik, cheating his own partner Ava, leaves her here for the police and runs away alone, which makes Ava sad. The police had also seen how Dybalik cheated Ava. Now before the police catch Ava, Eva also jumps into a nearby river and saves her life from the police. Gideon, Dybalik, and Eva both escaped from the police. Because of this, Jinku is very sad because he came so close to Dybalik after a lot of hard work. And yet he got out of his hands. Anyway, now they get Dybalik's stolen expensive things. Millions of jewelry, millions of paintings, cars, I don't know what. The police had now got hold of all these things. At this point, Jinku got a map of a building built in a city. He thought that Dybalik must have a secret hideout, so he goes to that building and starts looking for it. First of all, he didn't find anything here. 
But then by mistake, an officer's hand touches a lever. As soon as the lever was pressed, a secret passage to the basement opened. Jinku and her team carefully checked that place. This place was like a lab. And here, Dabalik used to make fake masks for himself, which he must have used during the theft. Before the police do anything here, Jinku forbids everyone from touching anything here, because he knows that Dabalik will definitely come here before the next theft. At the end of the scene, we see Jinku's fiance. She is the mayor of this city. She loves Jinku a lot and wants to marry him. But Jinku says that we can't get married yet. Until I catch Dabalik, I won't get married. Hearing this, the queen became quiet. She says to Jinku, Okay, I have a party in a few days. I will wear a lot of jewelry. I want you to stay with me at the party that day, so that no one can steal that necklace. At the end of the scene, we are shown the scene of the building where Dabalik had kept the machine for making masks. There were a lot of police officers stationed here. Dabalik puts on a mic there and starts listening to all the police officers. The police officers were changing their duties and now it was the duty of the roller. As soon as the second police officer leaves here, Dibalik opens the basement door. As soon as the basement door opens, the officer's eyes fall on Dibalik and he starts pouring bags. But not a single bullet hit Dibalik because there is a mirror wall between them. Hearing the sound of bullets, all the officers came to this basement alert. They see that their police officer was lying unconscious on the ground and Dibalik had stolen his machine for making masks. As soon as Jinku gets this news, Jinku was very angry with his officers that how Dabalik took his machine from under his nose. The next day, Jinku is called by the higher authorities. They ask Jinku, what will be your next strategy? Now they were talking that they get a call from Eva. Eva knew that along with Dabalik, the police were also looking for her. She says to the police, Dabalik has cheated me, so I will support you in catching Dabalik. But in return, I also want something from you. After catching Dabalik, you will release me. All the charges against me will be eliminated, and you will also settle me safely in another country. After saying all this, Ava says to Jinku, I am giving you only half an hour to decide. As soon as she says this, she turns off the phone. The higher authorities liked Ava's idea. They asked Jinku to work on this idea, but Jinku did not agree to this. Along with Dibalik, he also wanted to catch Ava. Thinking something, he leaves this office and goes to his office. There, while meeting his team, he makes a plan that when I get Eva's call in the next half hour, I will keep Eva busy later. You guys track Eva's location and arrest her. Jinku's plan was working perfectly. As soon as Eva called him, he put Eva on the phone, and the police tracked her location and reached her. But Eva did not call from any secret address, but she called from a normal phone booth. Now as soon as these people go to the phone booth to catch Eva, they see that there is no one there because Ava has run away from the tunnel just below the phone booth, and so Jinku's plan failed again. Here at the police station, as much as the police had picked up the stolen Dabalik, an officer noticed that a bracelet was missing from it, the same bracelet that had a tracker in it. She knew that it must be in Eva's hands, and she immediately gives this news to Jinku, which meant that these people could still trace Ava's location and catch her. Their suspicion was absolutely correct. Eva was wearing that bracelet with the help of which they reach her while tracking the location. As soon as Agent Roller reached him, he had put a gun on him. Before he could shoot Eva, Eva, attacking him, snatched his gun and ran away in his car. By the time Jinku reached the location, Eva had already left. He found Roller lying on the ground. Roller was very happy that he got the stolen Dabalik bracelet back. But he didn't know that this bracelet was taking him to Eva again and again. This stupidity becomes a threat to his job, and he is forbidden to go to the field. Here we see that Jinku's plan failed, and because he didn't listen to the authorities, the authorities are very angry with him. They give him the last warning that if he doesn't work with Eva, he will be fired. Jinku didn't have any other option, so he decided to meet Eva. He now sends a secret message through Eva's newspaper. After reading it, Eva calls him, and in the evening they make a plan to meet. Eva tells Jinku here that Dabalik wants to get his stolen goods back at any cost. So we have to spread the news in the underworld that the police are going to a safe place with all the stolen goods of Dabalik. Dabalik will definitely come to take it, and then we will catch Dabalik. Eva's plan explains that after spreading this news in the underworld, they will take out a van with a lot of scooters, but we will not keep real gold in this van. This van will only be to distract Dabalik. He will feel that there is gold in it, so he will definitely come to steal it. We will pass this van through a tunnel. 
and as soon as Dabalik reaches the tunnel, we will surround him from all sides. On the other hand, we will send the real gold to another place in the junk van. Jinku really liked this idea, and they start working on this idea. He now spreads the news in the underworld with the help of his undercover agent that all the stolen goods of the police are going to be shifted to another place. After which Jinku went to his fiance and he told his fiance to forgive him, but I cannot come to the party with you. As far as the necklace is concerned, he will send his most capable officer for its security. Now finally, the day has come when Dabalik will be caught by Jinku. On the other hand, we see that to get himself ready, Queen also invited a makeup artist from the city to her house. Here, all the police officers were being explained their plans at the police station. Now the problem was that if everyone goes on the mission, Jinku will regret his first mistakes. Look, I will do this job very responsibly. After which all the stolen goods were put in a small van. As soon as the order is received, these people take out the fake truck with the security. While on the other hand, the truck filled with goods can be taken out on the other road. According to the plan, when all the cars were passing through the room, Suddenly, the door of the room closed. Suddenly, a man came out of the side. We see Queen, whose necklace was also stolen. On the other hand, the roller also takes the truck out of the highway and takes it to the jungle, where he finds a girl at a distance. They both take off their masks, and the biggest fact is revealed to us that the girl, the makeup artist who met the roller here, is none other than Eva, who stole Queen's necklace. And Officer Roller is also not a police, we go to the cash box and find out that this was all Diabolic's plan. He deliberately left Eva behind that day, so that the police would think that he has deceived Eva. And he believed Eva's words. And the day Diabolic went to the basement to steal his mask machine, he really killed Officer Roller that day. After that, he made Officer Roller's mask and wore it himself. Since then, he has been roaming in the middle of the police, and no one doubted him. After that, he got all the stolen goods back, and after knowing this, Chinko was most shocked. Neither did he get Diabolic, nor did he get all the goods. At the same time, he also lost more than three necklaces of his fiance. Here, Diabolic and Eva took all their stolen wealth and shifted to another country where they decided to live a good life. And showing both of them, this movie ends here. Thanks for watching.